Hello everyone, this is Hadrian. Thank you for watching. Let's play some more Master of Orion in our Pax Humana series. So we are cruising through some turns here while waiting for our colony ship and some other ships to jump across our territory from where we found the Cylons were already settling a planet that we were targeting uh, to a planet that we should still have access to. So we might have to, as I mentioned at the end of the last episode, we might have to go to war with the Cylons um, before too long because this is... This is just bad. All right, so maybe if I go ahead and build some additional frigates. It'll take 19 turns to build some frigates at Sol Prime, but we need to go ahead and have some warships ready to fight the Cylons. All right, and then at Sebasius Prime, let's go ahead and build Colonial Revenue Services. Pull in some additional money. Oh, GNN report. What do we have? And now the state of the galaxy. Current ranking of space fleet strength. Okay. So the Cylons weren't even on that list. So I'm guessing we're above the ranking of the Cylons, which is good because they're our primary enemy right now. However, you notice we were almost second place, but definitely not close to first place. So the Alkari are extremely powerful right now. Oh, crap. Another one. Galactic News Network. <laughs> okay, the Barathi Empire controls five planets. Now the Barathi are expanding rapidly, but the Alkari are still the most powerful. We haven't encountered them yet. They're somewhere out here. Genetic engineering research has been completed. And a pirate fleet was detected near Callisto. Hmm, what ships do we have in the area? If any. We have this frigate. Yeah. Let's pay them a visit, shall we? Speaking of Callisto, Callisto Prime, there's not much to it. There are gems and there's rich minerals. So I mean, maybe we'll colonize it, but it, you know, it wouldn't be much of a colony. Just a minute of your time. Okay. Extra spy bonus or better population growth? Need better population growth. I'm competing with these other empires. I want to try and outgrow them. All right, so tech tree. Let's see here. Yep, military tactics. Just because we need to think in terms of possibly fighting the uh, Cylon before too much longer. Meaningful exchange furthers understanding. Interesting. They want to pay us for a technology. No. Oh, wow. Interesting. Because we rejected them, they did not like that. That is different from some of the other diplomacy systems and games that I've played. Oh, is this just a scout? Alright, so that scout needs to... Oh, there's actually a pirate base on, Palisto, on Callisto Prime. So that scout needs to get out before they get attacked. And this is a space factory here. Okay, Sebasius, what can we produce here? All right, so it looks like, yeah, we'll go ahead and build a cloning center so that it can grow very, very quickly. But we're going to need to build marine centers pretty soon. Threatening fleet detected. Yes, I'm aware of that fleet's approach. It has now arrived. Pirate Marauder. So this is a different class of ship. Let's have a look at this in a tactical battle. We have a very good chance against it. We have our normal attack fleet that we've been fighting with for a few episodes now. Or maybe that, maybe that is the same kind of ship we've been fighting against. It looks the same. It surely had a good chance against this fleet. A better chance than we've seen in the past. That does look a bit more powerful than some of the other ships we've already fought. All of my ships survived. Uh, 
Okay, so one of my frigates took a lot more damage. All right, Sea Locks 3. What can we produce here? Let's do the government support facility. Because morale appears to have dropped a bit. We have one striking citizen. And at some point we'll have to fight that uh, that space monster. That squid that's in the Tantalus system. Can I not attack Callisto Prime? I'm confused. This Oh, this is just a frigate. Okay, I need to send my destroyer. Okay, we'll have you guard Callisto Prime to make sure no other pirates do that. We might have we might have to colonize Callisto Prime just to make sure it doesn't keep becoming a pirate base. I probably need to be more liberal in my colonization choices. It seems like the other empires are getting ahead because they're just colonizing every world they can find. It's typically what I do in like a, a Sins of a Solar Empire type uh, playthrough. This, I guess I was just treating this game somewhat differently. All right, good. Tantalus 2 is ready for colonization. This is cool. Well, it's a nice view for our first landing on the planet. Not too shabby. I am perfectly okay with that. All right, so let's choose production. Let's go for our automated factory first. Looks like we already have decent production. I'll tell you what, how many credits do we have? Nah, uh, no, I'm not going to spend almost all my credits to do that. All right, troop transports. So these are invading ships. They carry four marine units to invade enemy colonies. So an armed escort is, is recommended. It automatically takes them from colony barracks. Interesting. Right, and now, yeah, let's go ahead and research private funding so that we can have better production and better research. Sorry for the interruption, President. Yep, I know. It was telling us that we can now build troop transports. All right. Yep, cloning center on Sabazes Prime. Want colonies to grow as quickly as possible. This scout is probably no longer needed. Let's see. Yeah, we can keep the scout there so that once we have the technology, it should be able to fly through. Well, I'll have to fly the scout back to upgrade, but we can get there. Cross that bridge when we come to it, so to speak. All right, so... I haven't built a lot of... Okay, interesting. I probably need global DNA scanners. <laughs> Let me go ahead and build colonial revenue services, though, just to improve income. Threatening fleet detected. Where? Okay, so now we can attack the population. Must have been just because we didn't have... An available attack. We'd already completed the combat in one turn. So. Okay. Maybe next turn we'll be able to do that again. I'm not quite sure how that worked. Okay. Alright, so here we can go ahead and build another military outpost. Yes, we could do it again. All right. Okay, there we go. Callisto Prime Colony has been destroyed. One population acquired on Sealux 3. All right. That's awesome. Wasn't expecting that at all. Fleet needs orders. So this scout, let's just have it sleep. All right, we're making a lot of money now. So what is there on Saul Prime? All right, the frigates are six turns away from being done. Yeah, it's interesting that interesting that I don't have the option to buy something that I'm not already building. That is a little bit different from, say, the Civilization V system, where 
you can have something being produced and then you can buy as many buildings as you can afford on the side. Whereas this one, you have to cancel what's being produced in order to um, give that instruction of purchasing a type of building. Private research funding concluded, Our very good. So we, ca we can now build crust processing to increase production on poor and ultra poor planets. And we can build advanced data centers to increase reduction research per cell. I wonder what cell means. Oh, that's per uh, population cell. Gotcha. All right, research management. Neutrino physics. Yep, looks like that's our next step as well. Some improved weaponry. All right, so. How is morale here? Morale is at 70%. Yeah, on Sebasius too. Let's go ahead and build a government support facility. We're making a good amount of money every turn now. That's a nice improvement. Okay. Build a hydroponic farm now. That's Tantalus too. That's our new colony that we just founded around this... Red Star. Sol Prime has grown. Alright, so we're almost to the population limit on Sol Prime. In three turns, our frigates will finish. We're building five frigates at once over there. Alright, we still I still don't feel like we need the atmospheric renewer just yet. Let me go ahead and build a marine barracks. Cloning Center completed at Sebasius Prime. Okay, let's... Yeah, definitely. Crust Prospecting. This is one of the um, improvements you can make uh, to poorer planets, which uh, of, uh, of which this is one. All right, so the frigates have been completed. Have we can now build mass drivers. And we have neutron rifles for our marines as well. Neutron collider also will give us additional production. So that's handy. So we're going to upgrade destroyers. Got to upgrade my existing destroyer. But I have a moment. For now, yeah. We're going to research positron physics so that we can have some more... Oh, cool. Allows the ship to near instantly travel a small distance in space, blinking in and out of combat. I like it. All right, so Sol Prime. Could go ahead and build the Neutron Collider, I suppose. Let's go ahead and build the Global DNA Scanner, though. All right, so this is our new frigate fleet. So let's see if maybe... Yeah, let's fly them to that military outpost because it looks like the Cylons are thinking about colonizing that world. Which is adorable and also annoying. Seahawks 3 has grown. Colony ship will build here in 11 turns. Huh. I'm going to start up a number of colony ships, wherever I can, really, except for here, because it will take forever to build one here. How long would it take, actually? I can't even build a colony ship here, because the, the actually, yeah, the uh, colony's not big enough. So we're going to go with the research lab. I love how you just fly through turns in this game. It's it's a it's a decent improvement over some of the other turn-based 4X games that I've been playing. I mean, it's it's very very quick. The turns go by, um, just at a very, very very good clip. I'm gonna build a colony ship here as well. Okay, Sebasius Prime might be a different story. I might be able to buy something. Ooh, can I maybe buy the star base? No, but it'll take 13 turns. I'm gonna go ahead and build that because we're soon gonna be out of command points. 
We might actually be able to buy it pretty soon. I just don't know that I want to do that. All right, now... Oh, wait, I can upgrade the... There was an upgrade icon for the uh, space factory. So I need to let him do that. I don't know what upgrades there would be, but... Oh, fusion drive. Yeah, can travel faster. Awesome. All right, so that's taken care of. It's one of the advantages of having a bunch of money is that the upgrades are inexpensive. Choose research. So we now can have proton torpedoes and displa displacement devices. Destroyers are just getting more and more powerful with every turn. Yep, go ahead and build these xenobiotics. That will help us produce food on our new colonies. All right, so maybe if we go ahead and build biospheres here, that'll be a step in a good direction. Mm, no, I won't buy it. Tempted to, but I won't. All right, so now we'll fly you back there, and then we're going to put that thing to sleep. And as soon as we have more command points, because we're about to finish two colony ships, so we don't have the command points to build a military outpost there. Okay, let's see what GNN has to say. This might be State of the Galaxy. Yep. I predict we're not doing very well. Oh, okay. I'm okay with this. Pleasant surprise. Alright, so... This fleet... can stay put there. Sabazius 2 has grown. So we can buy that colony ship there. I'll go ahead and buy that colony ship. Get it over with. The sooner we can give these planets orders, the better. And we'll go ahead and set up a star base here as well. Around Sabazius 2. And then this ship... Let's see, where are we going to colonize? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and colonize Callisto Prime. I don't, I'm not thrilled at the idea. I'm really not. I'm going to send this fleet back to Sebasius so it can upgrade that destroyer. Yes, yeah, uh, Callisto Prime is not a very quality planet, but we're going to do it anyway. All right, so the Neutron Collider we'll build here next. Crap, as soon as I... You're kidding me. All right, so we've got to turn them around because a pirate fleet spawned there as soon as I left. That's adorable. All right. Fusion weapons, yep. Let's go ahead and research that. Just trying to build up militarily because I just have a feeling the Cylons and I are not going to get along. That is my thought. All right. Fungal farms. Special building that we can do on Tantalus 2. I'll go ahead and buy it. Using some of our money up, but... Yeah, they can't colonize it. All right, we will send the fleet of frigates here to hang out at the warp point. And we're going to send the destroyer through to see what happens. Very frustrating. All right. Soil enrichment facility. Yeah, let's do that. Cloning center here, sure. Just need to improve our populations as rapidly as possible across the entire empire. All right, so we have a new colony ship here as well. What are the other? Let's let's have a, another look at the planets in this area. All right, so its minerals are ultra rich. Gravity is high. So apparently, ultra rich is very rare. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna settle Sealock's Prime. 
put like a mining colony on this volcanic world. Doesn't this just look like the place where you want to live? <laughs> Okay, so we have a colony here. Same as usual, we're going to go with a hydroponic farm first. I uh, don't think we'll buy it, because we don't have a whole lot of money. And on that note, with that colony being completed, I might actually uh, put a colony on Sealox 5 as well, because the biome is not good, but we could potentially terraform that planet. The only issue is that the gravity is high, so it'll be tough for people to live there. But it's an ultra-rich planet. That just seems like something that I shouldn't pass up. So, yeah. Okay, so we're going to take care of these pirates in the next turn, put a colony on Callisto Prime, and then continue to build up our empire as rapidly as possible. Because, again, I feel like a conflict is right on the horizon with these guys. I just, I just think. I, I can just feel it. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I upload new episodes in Pax Humana every single day at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's GMT-4. If it's not Pax Humana anymore, if the series isn't playing live anymore when you are watching this, then it'll be something else in a sci-fi simulation or survival type of uh, vein. So again, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next episode.